wafer flow is very powerful and very flexible, but all the different options and possibilities can be confusing at first. If you just want to get a feel for how it works in a very basic way, this video shows how you can try wafer flow very simply on your own design very quickly. A quick note on use models. In this uh, video, we're going to be waving all of the DRC errors in the results database. And this is something that might make sense in production if you're working with an archive design where all the remaining errors should be considered waived. Or maybe while using waiver flow to compare DRC results from one caliber version to another. And third, uh, just as uh, for an experimental basis, uh, as in this video, just to get a feel for how waiver flow works. At a high level, this is what we'll do. We'll run DRC on the design as usual. We'll create a waiver shapes database and supporting files. And we'll use the waiver shapes for subsequent runs. I can break that down into five steps. Step one, run the DRC job as usual. Make sure it's a hierarchical run and make sure the DRC cell name yes cell space X form statement is in the rule file. Also, make sure to use a design that has DRC errors Otherwise, we won't have anything to waive. Step two, create a waiver shapes database. Note the ASCII results database uh, file name from your DRC run and use it with this command line to create the waiver shapes database. Step three, create a waiver setup file. Using your favorite text editor, create a file called waiver underscore setup underscore file and add these two lines. Step four, using a text editor again, create a file called waiver underscore criteria underscore file and add a line that reads asterisk single 100 100. Step five, test everything to make sure it works. Run a hierarchical DRC job very similar to the first one, but with the dash waiver switch on the command line like this. This causes the waiver shapes we created earlier to be applied during this DRC run so that the uh, specific errors in this database will be treated as waived instead of being reported as legitimate errors. I can load the DRC results database into Caliber RVE and show you what I mean. We don't actually get any uh, DRC results. We get green check marks and uh, the number of results is set to zero. Now we do have a waived uh, .rdb tab and a used waiver .tab uh, and you could actually uh, use those to see which errors had been waived. This is Chris Balcom with Mentor Graphics, a Siemens company. Thanks for watching.